It's homework time at the Elrafais. No one in this Arabic-speaking household ever thought English would be so important. Or that they'd be calling a U.S. neighborhood in Chicago, Illinois home. But that was before the bomb, they say, took away their home in home Syria. A missile fell on the four-story building where our home was. We were at home with the kids and we all hid under the bed. We escaped at the last minute and that's when we decided to leave and go to Amman. The family fled, first spending 13 months in a refugee camp in Jordan. Then came the opportunity of a lifetime, as they were selected by a United Nations program to apply for asylum in America. According to polling in the wake of the terror attacks on Paris, most Americans now fear allowing Syrian refugees into the U.S. The Republican-controlled U.S. House of Representatives joined 30 Republican state governors in taking action to attempt to ban the 10,000 Syrian refugees that America had just committed to accepting. Abdullah Taha also fled Syria, having been tortured, he says, by the ruling Assad regime. He joined a group of refugees in Chicago to call for an end to the proposed U.S. bans. The dictator regimes are the real terrorists. I get very upset when some people or candidates for the U.S. election invent anything to use it during the election. Anything. And they tarnish our image. And it's not the reality. We're not like this. U.S. Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky joined the refugees in pleading for public understanding and acceptance. She says the majority of the 2,000 Syrian migrants to be admitted to the U.S. since 2012 have been women and children and not men of fighting age. I understand that, that people are, are fearful, but I think that we need to understand that of all the refugees that have come here since 9-11, we have not had a single incident of one of those people being a threat to the United States. Back at the El Rafai house, Safa says she hopes that as Americans debate accepting more Syrians, that they will think of their own children. Just like any mother who loves her children and wants to see them sleep peacefully, so do I. Just like any mother who wants to feed her children, so do I. An emotional appeal from one of the first 18 families to go from being Syrian refugees to Chicagoans.